and oops, what is happening? WordPad is opening, and now it's gonna say like, hey, yo, this line was printed using the something. So this content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you wanna use this knowledge, please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone that is illegal and you can go to jail. So with the Flipper Zero, you can go ahead and mouse jack and inject raw commands on a victim's computer using a wireless mouse that is actually vulnerable that also applies for different kind of wireless keyboards. So in this video, we're going to talk about exactly how that is done. I'm going to show you the methods with the Flipper Zero on how you can do and conduct mouse jacking. I'm also going to talk about how you can mitigate yourself out of risk and what to do if you are hit by that kind of vulnerability. So first of all, let's talk about what is mouse jacking all about. So we all heard about these kind of, you know, wireless mice we have, and they have a small dongle, as you can see in the screen right now. And that dongle is what connects to the actual mouse, the wireless mouse as I have right here. It's connected to my computer right now. I actually have my wired mouse and the wireless mouse at the same time, because I'm gonna do a demo using my Flipper Zero. I'm gonna show you exactly how the Flipper Zero looks right now. I'm gonna dis disconnect it from the Q Flipper. I have my small antenna I bought from AliExpress. It's connected to my Flipper Zero through the GPIO pins. And I'm using the Extreme firmware. Everything is pre-installed. I only have to click a few buttons. In reality, I don't really know have to know what's going on. It just happens for me. It's really easy and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know, understand how to perform this attack. Also, I will talk about exactly what is needed for you to get this working. And this is not working when any wireless mouse, you need particular vulnerable mice. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and share the website here. It's called Bastilles or Bastille, depending on how you wanna pronounce that. Uh, many years ago, 10 years ago, eight years ago, something like that, they announced the mouse jacking vulnerability. Now, most newly commonly created devices like wireless keyboards and wireless mouse are already safe. But we still see in offices that people still use some sort of wireless mouse or keyboard that is vulnerable to this attack. And you only need one vulnerable device, then the whole office is basically hit. So you can go ahead and read about it here. I'm gonna link to everything in the description below. You can go ahead and check it out. Um, and you can see here what's going on. I'm gonna zoom a bit. So they they tested different kind of, you know, um, vendors for Amazon Basics. They tested Dell, the Gigabyte, the HP, Lenovo, Logitech, and the mouse I have right here I'm gonna test today is a Logitech mouse. It's the particular type number is M185. And it's, uh, I think it's, uh, I'm not exactly sure how old it is, but it's not the newest mouse. They do talk about different kind of tested firmware and there are other kind of firmware that's also vulnerable. This is just what they tested. So in order to find yourself a device that's actually vulnerable, you probably need to test different kind of devices. And basically I'm just showing you one I have right here. It could be a keyboard. It's just easier and more convenient with a mouse because it fits in your pocket. Um, a keyboard kind of have to lay on the table. I don't have room for that kind of device. So that's why I use a mouse. Anyway, that's fine enough. The thing about how to mitigate yourself out is risk. If you think you have a risk for mouse jacking, keyboard jacking, you should definitely go ahead and either get your gear checked, you know, either by one with an owner of Flipper Zero or one with an owner of something called a crazy radio, which I can also show to you right now. This is the one I have right here. The crazy radio with a 3D printed house for it. It's the same thing. It's just a more pro version of the mouse jacking software, 
which I also have a video about that is also in my channel. I'm going to link to that also in the description below. So you can go ahead and check it out if you wish to do that. So if you think you have vulnerable devices, go ahead and basically update your firmware. You can download the new drivers and you should be safe. Also think about whenever you're going to go ahead and buy something new, probably go ahead and think about buying the same brand and the same version for everyone and make sure things are updated, make sure things go through your IT department first, and then basically that's gonna probably solve your problem. Now, still devices these days that are created for wireless purpose, still being produced with this kind of vulnerability. And we see, for example, the Amazon basic mouse is still vulnerable. I'm not referring to exactly this model right here, but to keep it a bit mystical, and this is not a video on how to get everything, but more like an informational video. I want to be 100% clear. I'm just doing this for educational purposes. So really, that's it. So we connected the Flipper Zero to the computer, and you can see that the Flipper Zero right here is connected through QFlipper, which is the kind of software we need to run Flipper Zero through computer, I can go ahead and, as you can see, remote this either by using the mouse, or I can basically go and use the flipper itself and click the buttons. That would be the exact same action. Now, I bought the module here, as you can see, from AliExpress. This is a GPIO extension module for the NRF radio signal. Uh, sorry, RF radio si signal. Um, it's gonna be with an extension antenna and the brand is from Kaysen. Now I'm gonna link to that also in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out if you wish to buy this. I think I paid around $25 for mine plus shipments, which is kinda, you know, easy. They're getting shipped in a small box just like that. And they actually wrapped it pretty well, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to use the mouse for this particular example. Let's go all the way back to the apps. And from apps, we're going to go ahead and choose that. And go down to GPIO. And now we're going to go down to, and this is a, kind of important because we need to go down to the NRF24. And what you need to do first is to run the sniffer. Now, when you run the sniffer just like that, make sure it says sniffing yes. So click one more time the button. And then now we're gonna go ahead and move around and click with your wireless device, keyboard, whatever, mouse. I'm gonna do it here. And at some point in time, we're gonna read the channel of nine. And that is when you will either hear your flipper say like bloop, <laughs> a small beeping sound. I think mine already captured this, so I will not say it. Um, and until then, just basically let it recognize the different kind of channels going through, and then it's gonna find, as you can see, found already. So when that is done, you can go ahead and go back. And uh, well, back one more time. Oh, not, not that back button, sorry, the back button on the flipper zero. And then you can choose the mouse jacker software after you sniffed. So you need to shift back and forth through the application to get this working. Okay. And now you can see that you have a browse for a ducky script. So basically you're gonna go ahead and select the, well, only have one. So basically one out of one. So select that. And it does say connect in 24 to GPIO. So we're gonna go ahead and take the board out, just like that. And you're gonna put it in. And remember, it's it's a tight, it's, it's a tight uh, fit. So click it in, and now it's connected. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then we're gonna go ahead and click the demo Windows macro. There's also one for Android and for iOS, and you can also get it for um, 
for Mac if you want to do that. Basically now I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now I'm gonna use the, the mouse. And oops, what is happening? WordPad is opening. And now it's gonna say like, hey, yo, this line was printed using the something. So what is really happening here? It's running a ducky script, which basically is from the, um, let me just show you what exactly what I mean from the bad USB or the rubber ducky, which is using something called ducky script invented by hack five, the guys there, but that's also used for many other things. So what we have here is just a small ASCII drawing of the flipper, really cute, right? So basically it says, well, listen, you know, I just injected raw commands and all this was injected through the flipper zero to my computer. Now let's imagine what this can do. You can inject any kind of command as you would like to inject. So. I'm gonna go ahead and close this right here and let's go back on the flipper zero one more time and let's go one more time back again and go all the way back to here and you can go ahead and check out the SD card for example. And I think basically you can go ahead and check out the GPIO folder and then you can, well, create your own um, scripts you can upload. So go to apps and make GPIO and here's all the apps you can go ahead and run for sniffing and all the kind of things. So please go ahead and check out my other video about how to install apps on your Flipper Zero through a tested and it's a very well known website, labflipper.net. Um and that you can install Flipper Zero apps. You want to go ahead and install apps from other places Basically, um, that's not gonna be tested the same way. So going back to the actual Flipper Zero, you can, oh, it's sad. <laughs> so you can basically run the apps you need and you can install the scripts. It was just a demo script. You can also edit them. This is not the video where I'm gonna show you how to do that because it's not that difficult, but it still requires you to, to put your mind together and create a ducky script. So I wanna talk about how to mitigate yourself way out of this. Well, the easiest way is just to remove the dongle. So I'm gonna remove the dongle from my computer. That's the sound. And this is the small dongle we all talk about. This is basically what is called the unified dongle that is shipped with these wireless mouse. So we're gonna go ahead and take it in. It's stored in the button of the mouse basically. And then you can Put it away if that is what you want. So I I do not use wireless stuff. You know I use wires on my mouse and my keyboard. And some people might say, but Daniel, don't you have a tinfoil hat on all the time in order to stay up to date and and, and not mitigate any risk? What about all the niceness of of wireless? Well, I actually don't like wireless stuff. It it's laggy and doesn't have the same kind of signal. So if that is what you want, you want performance, go ahead and stick with your, you know, cords, your wires for mouse and keyboard. If you're attacked, you basically have to just pull out the plug, you know, that's it really. No one can do anything, you're home safe, easy enough, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right now and say it was a demo of the NR uh, radio signal Flipper Zero extension board with a wide range antenna. I think it's omnidirectional and it's gonna be very effective in a way of you don't need much of knowledge in order to have success with this. So basically I wanna say, don't go ahead and buy yourself wireless stuff all the way if you wanna be safe. There's still a lot of things being shipped and created these days that are with the old chip that's still vulnerable, doesn't have the security in order. So basically, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel and leave a comment below if you like the content. I really try to make this more educational and less entertaining. So see you again online, have a really nice day and stay safe out there.